Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome to our fourth episode on success on the Classic Career Girl podcast. On the first episode, we talked about how to live your best life. On the second episode, all about success, we talked about hard work and imposter syndrome and how they go together and how to how to get over imposter syndrome as well. So make sure you listen to that one. And then on the third episode in our little mini series about success, we talked about procrastination and perfectionism and what you need to do so that those don't hold you back from launching your dream career or business. So today I'm excited to cover our fourth topic on our success mini series. And that is all about how to stick to your goals. So this is really important. You know, we've been talking about what a classy career girl is. We talk about how a classy career girl makes goals and a plan that inspires her in her mindset, her money, her life, and her career dreams. And she strives for living her best life. Now, if that is a classy career girl, then we have to make sure that we are setting goals and sticking to goals as well. So that's why this is a really important topic today. And I really want to help you take the stress out of sticking to your goals and making a plan that inspires you. How do I stick to my goals? I get this question all the time because there's a lot of frustration that comes with setting goals and then you look back at your goals and then you see, oh wow, I didn't even come close to those goals. And trust me, I know what this is like. At the beginning of this year, I'd set some very high goals and then a few weeks into January, Uh, we got a notice to vacate our home um, because our owners were who we were renting from, they decided to sell. So we had 60 days to move out. And I had to completely forget about my goals and my dreams. I had to kind of put that on my back on the back burner because I needed a roof over my head and a place for my family to live. And um, it was kind of it kind of everything kind of got put to the side of my goals. And then I got back to, you know, obviously we found a, we found a home, we have a roof over our heads, don't worry about us. We actually found a much better, ama- more amazing place and it's kind of how interesting how everything happened, but it's, it's an even better house. Um, so we're very, very happy in an even better location. Um, and we have an amazing little office that I'm recording from right now to in our home. So all that to say is I had a little roadblock But now I'm back to sticking to my goals and I want to start with that story because I know it's not easy and I know things come up in your life and I know things come up that are not expected. Like when we make those goals on January 1st, we do not plan to get that notice to vacate on January 20th and those things happen. And so we have to be aware with things that can come up that can kind of be those roadblocks, but then always just remember to go back to them. And that's why I love the planner um, that I use our physical 90 day planner because that helps me remember what my goals are. So I can go back to that planner. I have it documented somewhere. I'm looking at it. And um, one of the real most important things that you can do if you want to stick to your goals is first to write down those goals. Like take what's in your head right now, you know, write down on a little journal or on your computer or just somewhere in your notes. Just write down some of your goals, write down some of your dreams. Because I think sometimes we're too even scared to just write it down. But when you write it down, it become, it feels so much better to actually write those goals down. So that's the first part. You're much more likely to achieve those goals if they're written down somewhere. So just write them down. And then what I want you to do is I want you to look at those goals every single day. Try to make that a habit. Most people just set goals on January 1st and then they kind of forget what their goals were. And the process that I recommend for planning and for goal setting and for sticking to goals is to make it a habit, to make looking at your goals every single day a habit. And that's going to help you see new opportunities that you never would have thought of when you were were remembering what your goals are. It's going to help you make like that small baby step 
in a day that's going to help you get you closer to those goals. And so doing something every single day, like I think a lot of people think that, um, you know, big goals are overwhelming and scary and they kind of forget that it's just all these small little baby steps that factor into it. So um, write down your goals, look at those goals every single day, make it a habit to look at your goals, have a little checklist of things you do every day and looking at your goals should be one of them. And don't let this just be something that you're doing on January 1st and then you forget about them. And I also want you to start visualizing yourself achieving those goals. That's why I love vision boards. I highly recommend using it, creating a vision board for yourself. And I also just re recommend just starting to visualize yourself achieving those goals. Um, one of my favorite books is called The Success Principles. And in that book, the author's name is escaping me right now. I should, um, while I'm talking, I'm going to Google the author's name so I can tell you what it is. But in the book, and I'm reading it right now, so it's top of mind. I just read this last night. In the book, he talked about Jack Canfield, that's the name. Um, Jack Canfield talked about this party that he went to years and years ago. I think this was like in the 80s or something. But he got invited to a party that was a come as you will be party. So it was a party where you had to come as you will be in five years from now. And it, he said it changed everyone who came to that party's lives because they started to visualize themselves as who they wanted to be in five years. So that would be like there were people who wanted to become best-selling authors and they came to that party with a pretend book and they were getting they were signing autographs and you know the other people in the in the room were asking them questions about their book. Um, there was someone in, in that came to the party that wanted to be retired in five years and so um, you know so he came like dressed like totally laid back and like you know beach lifestyle because he was retired and so. It, it changed everyone's lives and everyone at that party changed their lives and actually became their vision because they started to visualize that. I would love to have a party like this someday. So it's actually, it's on my to-do list if I am starting to think of possibly having some uh, maybe events in the future too for, for our audience and for our listeners. And so that's definitely something I would love to do is, is having some sort of party like that where you start to really visualize what you are going to be in five years. And that's hard. It's hard. I know. Like I can't even, I don't even know what, what that looks like for me. Clearly I have some thinking about this to do myself. Uh, but if you had to go to a party, if you got an invitation from me inviting you to a party, a come as you'll be in five years party, like what would you wear? You know, what would you dress like? What clothes would you wear? Um, you know, what would you tell the people there? Would you talk about your family or would you talk about your work or what you do in your spare time or your hobbies or your passions? And, you know, where would you be working? You know, what would your career be like? What would your life be like? Where would you be living? Where would you be traveling? Who would you know? Start thinking about that because that is like your vision board in real life. And the other thing about sticking to goals too, like sticking to goals is a lot easier if you know your why, like why are you wanting to reach these goals? That's why we have this section in our planner. We have, you know, what are your goals, but then why do you want to reach your goals? Because sometimes we set these goals like I want to make a certain amount of money or I want this much web traffic or I want this, this many Instagram followers. Trust me, those have been three goals I've had in the past. But then when I ask myself why, then I'm like, well, why do I want to make that amount of money? Or why do I want all those Instagram followers? And why do I want that website traffic? Like there's got to be a bigger why than just Instagram followers, right? But when you think of it bigger, because I want, you know, I want that many Instagram followers because then I know I can impact more people and I can help them find career fulfillment and I'm helping more women find career fulfillment. And, you know, you get to your bigger reason and your bigger purpose and mission for your career and your life. And that's what we're all about here. So why do you want to reach those goals? And the other thing about sticking to goals that's going to make it super helpful for you to stick to your goals is when you're in the right community. Sometimes you don't have people around you who get you and who get where you're going, who get the goals that you want, who get wh what you're going to be like in five years. 
you know, they might not recognize you at that party. They might think you're a little crazy for what you show up, uh, you know, for what you want to be in five years. And so I'm, I'm very, very fortunate that my husband and I work together and we run the classy career goal business together. And so uh, he's an amazing community for me as far as like, he's always the first person I go to if I have a question or if I have an idea or if I just need to bounce something, you know, off of someone else. And he's totally supports me and believes in me. And so he, that's my, he's my person like in work and life and parenting and everything. Like he's always, um, always like uplifting and supportive of my dreams and my goals. And so I'm not saying that should be everyone's husband, (laughs) um, you know, but Find your person. Find someone who is supportive. I have another friend. She just uh, texted me right before I went on this podcast, and we she's in my mastermind group, and um, we've been in a, like a um, mastermind group for many, many years together. And she just texted me like, "I have so many ideas. Like, I just need to choose one. Like, let's schedule a call. Like, you know." And she knows that I'll help her kind of like narrow down all the ideas in her head too. And but. She helps, she's part of the reason that I'm doing this like classy career girl mini series because she helped me see that you guys needed just kind of like the basics and the foundation of what a classy career girl is. I didn't realize that. It was like, you know, I'm like 10 miles in front of you guys. And so she helped me see that I needed to like bring it back and, and really teach the foundation of what success is and what a classy career girl is. And so we help each other. And that's what I want for you guys. I want you to have a community. I want you to have supportive people who get you, who you can call in the middle of the night when you're like stressing out about something. I know for me, like I just joined another, a new mastermind. I've been in it now this entire month and just being around other high achieving people who are doing things that I want to do. There's now this belief that I know I can do it too. And that's why I love being in the right community, being in a mastermind, being in a Facebook group. Um, you know, we have we have a free Facebook group, the Classy Kurgle Network. That is a great community to join if you haven't been in there as well at all um, because that community is really, really supportive. And there's a lot of people who are very skilled and talented in the career field in that group. Um, so make sure you're in that free group, first of all. And then there's so many groups out there. I mean, there's asking around, seeing what community other people are engaging in and enjoying, and you have to find the right fit for you. I mean, I've been in a lot of different communities. A lot of them have been helpful for me at certain times in my life but I'm now no longer in those communities. So you have to find the right fit for you, the right mentor for you. I've had some mentors that were the right mentors for me at that moment in time, but they're not no longer the right mentors for me. And so you just, you have to find that right person. I know someone just posted in one of our membership sites, Facebook groups, um, which by the way, our membership sites are also a great place to find an amazing community. Someone just posted about how her friend recommended this other guy's podcast and she listened to it and she was just turned off like the entire time about what he was saying and how he was saying it and it it was just not clicking with her. And it was a good discussion that we were having in in the Facebook group about how it's not everyone is the same and what clicks for one person might not click for you and we might connect with different people. And so you have to find those people that you connect with, the right mentor, the right Facebook group, the right community, you know, maybe the right coach, maybe the right work environment. All those things can factor into your success. So really to summarize, like believing you can is the most important thing to sticking to your goals, doing those affirmations. Mindset is the most important thing. You have to believe that you can accomplish your goals. That's why I love the come when, come in five year party and the vision boards, because you start to believe if you visualize that, that you can start achieving those goals. And that's why I love my mastermind because they're doing it. I can do it too. So you may not know exactly how you're going to do it. And it might be super scary along the way, but it's okay. Just keep repeating those positive affirmations and staying as positive as you can. Um, I know in the past on the podcast, I did an entire podcast, I think um, back in January of 2019, 
all about how to create affirmations. And so go listen to that, create a vision journal or a vision board that you look at every day. Setbacks will come up, things will get tough, tough, but if you know you can do it, you'll be able to move past the tough times and make your goals happen. So also remember, you know, we talked about being perfect. Don't worry about being perfect. Many people can get overwhelmed trying to figure out what to write down for their goals and they worry it's not perfect so you just don't write anything at all or you have doubts that you can even make your goals happen so you don't write anything down and so my tip for you really you know like we talked we spent an entire episode last episode about it my tip for you is not to worry about it being perfect just write down your goals the first thing that comes to your mind you can always change them later. You know, every, in my world, in my planning world here at Classy Kurgle, we do these every 90 days. You can always change your goals in the future. Just write down something now. And don't worry that your goals, you know, have to be a certain way or how they will get done. Sometimes, you know, people worry that they have to be written a certain way. And, you know, when they ask me to review their goals and, and I never, there's no, there's no perfect way to write a goal. I mean, if it, If it works for you, it works for you. Just put what's important to you down when it comes to creating your plan. You can always go back later. You can always put deadlines. You can always review it and make sure they're achievable or smart goals. And if you're new to this and you get stuck creating your goals, the most important thing is you just get something down. It shouldn't take too long if you're just writing down the first thing that comes to your mind. You don't have to overcomplicate it. And then also, like I said, make it a habit, make a commitment to do your goals every 90 days, um, to do a monthly plan every month, a new weekly plan. You guys should all by now have our free planner at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free plan, where you can get our templates for doing your weekly plan, your monthly plan, your 90 day plan, your annual plan. And this consistent action won't take long, but it's crucial to your success and happiness. So if you stick with it, you'll find that this planning system will become part of your routine and planning time will become like a habit and you will start to reach your goals even with a busy schedule. You'll also want to get into habit of writing down like a daily to-do list where you prioritize those three things that need to get done each day. So on a later podcast, we'll go into all that to-do list productivity stuff. But today it's all just about the big picture of sticking to your goals and taking advantage of a community so you feel like you are not alone. So make sure you go grab that free 90-day planner Also on a practical level for tools, I love using Asana, A-S-A-N-A. After I write down my goals in my planner, I take those big goals, those big projects, and I make them digital. I take them and I put them into Asana and I assign deadlines and details and tasks. If I need to delegate to someone else, I assign that to. And that really helps me kind of clarify what I need to get done. So Thanks for joining me on this fourth podcast episode in our success mini series all about how to stick to your goals. Um, Thanks for sharing. Thanks for leaving reviews. Make sure you share this on your Instagram stories and tag at Classy Career Girl and then I can reshare it as well. So thanks everyone. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks for listening to the Classy Career Girl podcast. If you are serious about changing your life and your career, we'd love to welcome you into our membership community. It's where we go deeper on the principles that we teach in this podcast. So come join us in class. You can learn more at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash join.